Hey, it's Mario and welcome back to another very exciting tutorial. This one is the atmosphere part one, specifically covering the composition of the atmosphere. onto the atmosphere and its composition. So what's the atmosphere made of? Well, you might say air, which is correct. But what is air? Well, air is mostly nitrogen, a bunch of oxygen, and a little bit of other stuff. While these gases make up dry air, the atmosphere also includes water vapor and various forms of liquid and solid water. The amount of water vapor present varies quite a bit with location and time, from a tiny fraction of a percent to as much as 5% water vapor by volume. And last but not least, the atmosphere also contains condensation nuclei. Condensation nuclei are microscopic particles that water can condense onto. They play an important role in the formation of clouds and precipitation. Condensation nuclei can be made out of sand, dust, salt, or any other suspended solid particles. From the standpoint of meteorology, the most important component of the atmosphere is water. So why is that? Well, even though water makes up only a small part of the atmosphere, it is the only substance present in any quantity that can exist in all three phases under normal atmospheric conditions. It is the phase changes of water that drive much of the weather, largely because of the heat released or absorbed by the water as it changes phases. The ability to get liquid and solid water airborne in the atmosphere also creates the most common weather hazards, like clouds, fog, rain, snow, icing, and so on. So to sum it up, the atmosphere contains the dry air gases, various forms of water, and condensation nuclei. And that is the composition of the atmosphere. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and like our Facebook page for all that social media goodness. And of course, until next time, onwards and upwards, thanks for watching.